We're making an M4A1. The barrel, the handle, the chamber, and the stock all measure the same thing, around 6 inches. We'll be focusing on the chamber. A 1 inch tube that is roughly around 6 inches long, a hot glue gun, an X-Acto knife, foam core poster board, cereal box cardboard, a wood stick, a pen, a reference photo, and a rubber band. Now cut it out and cut out the bottom of the chamber. Trace it onto foam core poster board and you want to exclude the uh, trigger guard that's shown on the bottom. Now cut it out and you want to make four more layers which is in total of five. Keep only three and that's where you'll work on the trigger and the magazine. Now you want to draw this shape and you want to cut it out. Look at this. You want to cut it out for all three layers and now onto the magazine. Draw this shape, cut it out, and cut it out for all three layers. Now onto the magazine itself. Draw it out and cut it out. You want to be able to put it into the gun, so make it longer. Make three more and glue them all together. Now you also want to glue all the three layers together. Now you want to make the trigger. Draw just a simple trigger, cut it out three times, and glue them all together. Cut a little strip of elastic band and you want to glue it on the top of the trigger. Now pass the wood stick through like this. You want to glue the elastic band to that part of the cutouts. Now poke a hole where the trigger will be onto the outer layer, like that. Now you want to glue all the layers together and pass the wood stick through everything. Trigger works, so we're good to go. Cut it to size, and now to that one inch tube. You want to glue that one inch tube right there, like this. Now onto the sides. You have to trace it and cut it out twice. You want to put three quarters of an inch wide cereal box cardboard strips in the center like that and then you want to glue it on the top everything works magazine trigger we're good to go now on to that little cap on the end I don't know what it's called take your Tupperware container and cut it to about half an inch and glue it on the end like that next time we'll be focusing on the barrel and the handle Bye!